The FBI used to spy on the Russians. This time they spied on us. It's about, it's about a brazen plot to, again, exonerate Hillary Clinton from a clear violation of the law with regard to the way she handled classified information with her private server. Absolutely a crime. Absolutely a felony. It's about finding out why, as the Inspector General is doing at the Department of Justice, why Comey and the senior DOJ officials conducted a fake criminal investigation of Hillary Clinton, followed none of the regular rules, gave her every break in the book, immunized all kinds of people, allowed the destruction of evidence, no grand jury, no subpoenas, no search warrant. That's not an investigation. That's a Potemkin village. What this is about is, this is about a lavabo, a cleansing of the FBI and the upper echelons of the Department of Justice. We're going to discover that the Attorney General Loretta Lynch, her deputy Sally Yates, uh, the head of the National Security Division, John Carlin, Bruce Orr, and other senior DOJ officials and, regrettably, line attorneys, people who were senior career civil servants, violated the law, perhaps committed crimes, and covered up crimes by a presidential candidate. But more than that, they tried to frame an incoming president with a false Russian conspiracy that never existed, and they knew it, and they plotted to, to ruin him as a candidate and then destroy him as a president. The FBI now has to be completely reconstructed from the ground up. The, the men and women at the Bureau are great people. That's not who we're talking about. We never have been. We are talking about people like James Comey, McCabe, Strzok, Page, Baker, Prystep, who is a name nobody knows. He's the head of the counterintelligence division. What the Bureau did was, by working with Fusion GPS and giving contractors access to highly classified information which they had no legal right to see, they needed to create something they could give to the court, the foreign intelligence court, so that they could get wiretaps and surveillance taps and email taps and phone taps on the Trump people so that if there was anything, they could find it out. Of course, there was nothing. There, was no, there never was anything. And they created false facts so that they could get surveillance warrants. It was done not for a legitimate law enforcement reason, not for national security reasons, but to create a false case against a candidate, Donald Trump, a president-elect, Donald Trump, and a president, Donald Trump.